Welcome back to another episode of Amori. I'm mindlogged, and let's get back into it, shall we? Give me just one second here. All right. We're going back into the house. Dark as hell, though. Whoa! This place is cleared out, Sonny. Your house feels a bit bigger now that nothing's here. There used to be a couch here. Where we'd watch TV. We'd all come over every weekend and watch cartoons in the morning. Yeah! And this is the stain from that one time I spilled my orange joe. Amari got so mad at me. Well, that's because her cat stepped in it and walked all over the house. <laughs> oh yeah, huh? Oh man. It looks like it's getting too dark to see the tree house. That's okay. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. Wait, I have an idea. What if we just stay over for the night? It's gonna be our last time in this house forever, right? And this will be the next time... And what will be the next time we can spend the night with Sunny like this? I'd love to, but... Mom's not gonna be too happy about it. She'll be fine. I'm, tr I'm tired of waking up all night because of Sally's crying anyway. You're gonna watch Dishes with Mom for an entire week, aren't you? You deserve this! Well... That's true. It'll probably be fine. We live right next door and we'll only be a walk away. Wow. There's nothing here, dude. Empty. I thought they'd comment about it. Ah, I remember this hallway. The closet was to the left, and the piano was to the right. I wonder if the piano is still there. I'll go, I'll go on ahead and see. There's nothing there. Oh no. Don't judge me too hard. I haven't practiced in a while. Damn, this boy be like, don't judge me too hard, I'm not good. And they just go, Bee -doo -doo -doo. Show off. <laughs> I guess I still got it. <laughs> hey, Sonny, that reminds me, do you still play the violin? Oh, it's not here. I guess you already packed it up. There was a song you used to play with Mari. It gets stuck in my head sometimes, but I don't remember what it's called. You two would play it over and over. We'd even hear it from our house sometimes. What was it again? Yeah. Oh. Man, all of a sudden I'm getting really sleepy. Maybe we should call it a night. That sounds good to me. I have to get up early for my morning jog anyway. Where? So, where should we sleep, Sonny? Probably somewhere in your room, right? I remember you used to hate sleeping alone. Yeah, that sounds fun. We can sleep on the floor, if anything. Let's go find some blankets. Hold on, Kel. Wait for me. A grand piano. The word Amori is etched on across the center. Okay, so... Oh, 
Oh my god. I'm just gonna save just cuz, but... Uh, let's just go in here to the bathroom. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> that actually... <laughs> I actually scream. That wasn't like... That wasn't a joke. I actually just... Was going to fake scream, but... Something <laughs> Oh, okay. Shut the fuck up, mind logged. Hey, Sonny! <laughs> we built a bed for it. Hope you don't mind. And this was Kel Kel's idea. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> By the way, hero, Sonny, I got you a gift. You gave. Hero's gift to Hero. <laughs> it's a Papa's Chef. It's a Papa Chips. Chip off the old block cookbook. Do you remember this? Of course I do. Man, I remember when I wanted to be a cook. It all it seems so silly now. Hey, you're pretty good at it. And you can still be a cook, Hero. Uh, it's okay. I don't have time for that anymore. But, you really like to cook, don't you? And have people eat, right? Oh, and people have to eat, right? So, like, why not? <laughs> I don't think it works that way, Kel. He's such a fast sleeper. Always been that way, I guess. <clears throat> Thanks for letting us sleep over, Sonny. I bet it's been pretty hard in this empty house, especially without Mari. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you more. Everything feels so different now. But it seems like you've pretty much stayed the same. It's kind of relieving, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, it's really nice to see you again. I just wish Aubrey and Basil could be here too. Uh, anyway, sorry for ranting. It's getting late. I'll probably head to bed soon too. Good night, Sonny. I'll talk to you in the morning. You're so fucking faking it. That's a really, that's a really killer on the throat. Also, those who view Amori, if you like my style, come and watch some Pokemon Nuzlocke. It's a great time too. Lots of scares, lots of... But anyway, shh, it's time for the story. Oh, 
to all our friends. Um, okay. I, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a sweaty. I'm, I'm sweaty. For something to happen. What happened to everyone? The fog, a thick fog envelops the entire forest. Uh, what the hell? What the heck? I think... Oh, no. Mari's not here. A floating mirror, you were alone. You wanna play hide and seek? No. What is the the mailbox is gone? A thick fog envelops the entire place. Get the C. Well, I don't think I can get the C anymore. Oh no. That's concerning. Amori, you're here. I'm so glad you found me. Kel, Aubrey, Hero, and all the children are gone. There's a thick fog enveloping the entire forest. Except everywhere except here. Maybe our friends are somewhere across the water. Let's find them together. Do you want to join me? Thanks, little brother. I knew I could count on you. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you company, so you're not alone. I know you really hate that. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You are no longer afraid of drowning. That's the shadow. That is two shad three shadow. Why are there so many shadows? That's <clears throat> concerning. Let's see. There's nothing here. Uh Shadow. Uh. No. There's nothing here. Um. Oh. 
there is an island. Chill, chick, cha, cha, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to think of this. I get, well, because I haven't played this game in a while, I get faint memories of like what this used to be, but empty cans, shattered pottery, a chair facing the wall, a stool on its side, a dirty wardrobe, it's empty inside. An ordinary house plant. It le its leaves are hard and brittle. An old fireplace. The inside is completely black. A white agrid orchard. The language of flowers. It symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. An unmade bed. It hasn't been used in years. Something stares at you from the other side of the screen. This poor photo. It's barely holding itself together. I am afraid. Oh. And I'm afraid I tend to sing because I just don't know what to do. Fear is a very weird response. There's no light here. <clears throat> a pair of binoculars. Do you want to check out the view? I mean, not that I could see it. Please don't jump scare me. Come on. Let's let's not do this, brother. Um, it's just fog as far as the eye could see. Back into the water we go. Um. What is that? Something stares at you from the side of the screen. I don't like that. And then my bed. Uh, you found dead battery. This is weird. Is it the same house? What? Is this just the same house? It's the same house. Um, let's head back. Uh jeez. Uh, I'm uh <laughs> yeah. So these I wonder what what this place holds over here. Another disheveled house.
So I think it's just going to be... Ha so, do you think... What do you think? Like, do you think maybe... I don't know what to think of those houses because there was once upon a time where the dreamer, you know, where the dreamer, like, ran away and tried to, like, hide away from the darkness and stuff like that. So maybe those houses were just Omori or, or Sunny in this, in this perspective, trying to run away, but the darkness would always find them. Anyway. <clears throat> Omori, I'm so proud of you. You swam all the way here. Even though you've always been terrified of the water. But there's still one big thing you're afraid of, isn't there? Something a little bit harder to overcome. Uh, yeah. No. Where where are the friends? They're they're there. Guys. Where is everyone? This is crazy. <sighs> okay, deep breaths. It everything is okay. Uh Holy fuck. Omori. It seems that you may have forgotten something important. Are you okay with that? I'm not too sure. You've seen this curtain once before. The last time we went to the lake. This is my stop, though. I know I shouldn't have come. It just gets a little lonely without everyone. It's not my place to say anymore, but... I hope you're still in there, Sonny. I really miss you. Goodbye, little brother. She's... she's white! She's white now! We have to go. She might not be there anymore. We have... To go. Down the well. Everything is fine. M. Six keys. Ribbit. Waiting for 
for something to happen. This is that underwater place. Lane's carpool only, kid. Come back when you've got friends. Hey, kid, you want to go somewhere cool? You should go to the last resort. It's the hottest, trendiest place to be these days. I can take you there if you want, kid. With all the rage. Come on, don't be shy. I don't like much. Sure. What the fuck happened? A little bumpy, but not all that bad. Come back anytime, kid. There you are! Where have you been, buddy? While you were gone, everyone got tricked into signing contracts. So we all have jobs now. We're all growing up so fast. My job is to point people to the last resort. That's the way I work. There she is! And there it is! Why does this ship have sunglasses? But I gotta say, this job isn't. This job thing isn't cut out. Isn't, isn't all it's cut out to be. So why don't we get everyone to quit? And get the heck out of here. Here's been traveling a lot for work lately. But I know for the for sure that Aubrey's been working on the fifth floor of the last resort. We should go find her first. Okay. Quick take a job for Aubrey. Hey you! Yes, you! There with the stoic expression. Looks like you want some fresh milk. Fresh from sea cow farms. The freshest milk? Sure, they cost you... Yeah, no. Okay, but you're going to regret this once, time, once in a lifetime offer. I found one clam. Hey, you! Yes, you with the stoke fishing. I have a very unique soda from the finest of... Butt peaches. They're a renowned butt peach soda. 600 clam. No. Huh. Lone Sharks. Goomin! Hey you! Blah 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 blah! Give me that cardboard cutout, bro. Oh wait. I could do that anyway. <sighs> he charged me a- uh, It's you there, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Dynamite. 1500 clams. No thanks, bro. Mari. Hey, Mari, look who finally decided to show up. Oh, Mori! It's so good to see you again.
What is it, Omori? Aren't you happy to see your big sister? Oh, that's just Omori being Omori. You can't blame him for the way he looks. Anyway, as I was saying, working, working paying pays b the bills, but it's not very exciting. So me and Omori are gonna get Aubrey and Hiro. And then, we're gonna. Fine, Basil. Oh yeah! That's what we are going to do. <laughs> always happy to help. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Nah, don't worry about it, Mari. The boss loves me. We'll be in and out of the last resort real quick, no problem. Okay, if you say so, Kel. Come on, Amori, I can't wait for you to meet the boss. He's awesome! Alright, on the next episode, we're gonna meet the boss. Uh... That was... That was very... That was very... That, that was a thing, you know? On the next episode, uh, yeah, we'll do that thing. So, catch us on the next episode. Leave a comment and subscribe, and I'm Mindlogged, and I'm logging off.